Hi everyone, Scott Lewis here for Wirefly, here today to bring you a cell phone smackdown between the T-Mobile HTC One S versus the Sprint HTC Evo 4G LTE. So far the HTC One S has been undefeated in the smackdown arena, but it's never faced an opponent quite like the Evo 4G LTE. Today's smackdown is four rounds, and let's go ahead and dig into round one. Our first round is going to be tech specs. The HTC One S has a 4.3 inch Super AMOLED display with resolution of 540 by 960 and the pixel density is 256 pixels per inch. Where the Evo 4G LTE has a 4.7 inch Super LCD display with resolution of 720 by 1280 and has pixel density of 312 pixels per inch. It's not often that you find a phone with a larger display having a higher pixel density than a smaller phone. I can't find fault in either display. Both are very crisp, very clean, very clear. I like both of them. They're very sharp and very true to color. I will say that the Evo's 4.7 inch display does make watching videos a lot easier than the 4.3 inch display on the One S. I like the Evo's display better because of the size and the better pixel density. Now to move on to some of the internal specs. Both phones come with one gigabyte of processor memory along with 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Another benefit that the Evo 4G LTE has is that it does have a spot for a micro SD card that you can put in it up to 32 gigabytes. It's going to be right here. Now the One S does not have any external memory card slot that you can add additional memory to it, although you can use cloud-based services if you'd like to have more memory. The Evo 4G LTE and the HTC One S both have 1.5 gigahertz dual core processors inside. Let's recap round one. The Evo 4G LTE has a larger display and has higher pixel density so it should have a better crisper picture than the HTC One S. They both have dual core 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon S4 processors. They both have one gigabyte of processor RAM and both come with 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Now the Evo 4G LTE also has expandable memory so round one of tech specs goes to the Evo 4G. Round two is going to be all about the design of these two great phones. The HTC One S is 7.8 millimeters thick where the Evo 4G LTE is 8.9 millimeters thick. It's a 1.1 millimeter difference and I really can't tell the difference between the two when you're holding them. It's not a big difference and I like both phones for the way that they sit in your hand. The One S is 4.22 ounces so it's a 0.51 ounce difference. Just like the thickness, not a big difference. You really can't tell. They both feel very nice in your hand. When you're talking about design, you're talking about size, thickness, and weight. A major component that dictates that is the battery. Now both the Evo and the One S have integrated batteries, so you cannot replace the battery yourself. The Evo 4G LTE has a 2000 milliamp hour battery, where the HTC One S has a 1650 milliamp hour battery. The Evo does have the larger battery at 2000 milliamp hours versus the 1650 that the One S has, but I will say that the larger size display of the Evo caused the Evo to use a little bit more battery and they lasted about the same length of time. I did get a full day out of the Evo and the HTC One S, but by the end of the day they both were completely gone and they needed to be charged up overnight. I would call round two a draw, but the Evo has a secret weapon. It has the kickstand designed into the actual red band on the back of the phone, so it does have the kickstand that you can set it up in landscape or in portrait so that is a big plus for the Evo 4G LTE. So round two is going to be going to the Evo 4G LTE. For having a slightly larger battery, although it lasts the same amount of time as the One S, but the kickstand puts it over the top. Round three is all about camera multimedia function. I will say round three is going to be a lot like round two. Both of these phones have a lot of the same features. Both phones have an 8 megapixel rear facing camera with LED flash that records in 1080p. Now they both have front facing cameras. The front facing camera on the One S is a VGA quality front facing camera. The one on the Evo is a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. So it is a plus for the Evo 4G LTE. Because they're both running HTC Sense 4.0 and running Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, they do a lot of the same multimedia functions when you're talking about downloading and streaming videos. A huge plus for both phones, and if they were against any other competitors besides another HTC phone would be a big advantage for it, is the Beats Audio Integration. Both of these phones have Beats Audio Integration, and I really like the improvement that the Beats Audio makes on the audio quality that you get, whether it's out of the speaker or through a standard set of headphones. It is a close victory, but this round does go to the Evo 4G. So far, the Evo has won all three of the first rounds. Let's see if it can make a clean sweep and deliver a knockout blow to the One S. Round four is gonna be all about our benchmark testing. We're gonna run an Antutu benchmark on both the One S and the Evo 4G and compare the result. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off while the test is going on, and I'll pick 
it up right before the end. So the phone's just finished up, let's take a look at the scores. The HTC One S has a score of 6,915, where the Evo has a score of 6,833. Very close scores because they're very similar phones. The One S has a slightly higher score in CPU, and the Evo has a slightly higher score in the GPU. But like I said, very, very close race with these two great phones from HTC. Let's go ahead and run a quick Quadrant Standard Benchmark score as well, and I'll pick it up once again as the benchmark is almost done. Alright, so the HTC One S is just wrapping up now. Let's go ahead and get our scores. And the HTC One S has a score of 4,978 where the Evo has a score of 4,916. The scores are so close because the technologies inside are so similar. Just like in the Intuitu benchmark though, a slight win in the Quadrant Standard benchmark for the HTC One S. The HTC One S battles back in round 4 and takes the benchmark challenge. Let's do a quick recap of our rounds. Rounds 1, 2, and 3 tech specs, design, and camera multimedia go to the Evo 4G LTE, where round 4 the benchmark battle goes to the One S. The One S remains undefeated in the benchmark battle, although it does lose the overall schmackdown today to the brand new Evo 4G LTE. I'd love to know if you think I got it right in this schmackdown, so make sure to leave your comments here on our YouTube channel. And if you're looking to pick up either one of these great smartphones or any other phone, please make sure to check out Wirefly.com. We'd love a chance to earn your business with our great customer service. My name's Scott Lewis for Wirefly. Thanks for watching.